Hey guys, Triple C here. And tonight we're gonna do a little experiment on just how much force it takes to break a hard drive. What we have here is an old 80 gigabyte IDE drive that's in a good functional state. Um, yeah, this experiment is really to uh, prove a point on how easily it can break a hard drive. But of course, I don't know what the outcome would be. Well, maybe I do know since if I post this video, I probably know the outcome will be favorable to my prediction. But oh well. As I'm recording this, I have no idea, so we'll find out. So what I'm gonna do is to literally drop this hard drive and see if it remain functional or if it will cause any error. If it cause any error at all, then it's considered broken. So they consider I break a hard drive with very small force because I was told by uh, critical credible people that it takes night the force to break a hard drive and then uh, I just see so many cases that hard drive so break so easily compared to a 9G force I mean imagine what 9G force really is that's a lot of force so uh, yeah I just want to prove that it doesn't take that much to break your hard drive so let's give it a shot before I start the experiment I'm running a, a little benchmark test of the drive and uh, a quick air scan to make sure the drive is in good health, good condition. That way uh, the test itself will be fair. It won't be biased. Because uh, originally I was going to use a uh, 20 gigabyte hard drive that's functional but it's kind of already grinding so that wouldn't be a fair test if I use that one because it's not in a fully functional state. So uh, the benchmark result there it is, and just do a quick scan. That will be fair enough. Okay, so that would do. Now, so, uh, here we go. Little bit of change of plan. My USB cord is not long enough to reach the floor, so I gotta have to do it by simply smashing the hard drive onto my table. Now, I'm going to be transferring data while this is happening because it will uh, simulate a real situation. If you accidentally drop your laptop, stuff like that, and just to see if it will actually take 9G to break your hard drive, if the protection is actually that great. I understand this is a uh, 80 gig hard drive from many years ago, but um, yeah, today's uh, lower grade hard drives are no better protection than those, as far as I know. Um, at least it's not far off in terms of uh, shock protection than uh, today's uh, cheaper drives which commonly use hard drives so uh, it should be pretty similar result to if you're using if it's a uh, situation with a new hard drive so we'll see so now here we got uh, a folder full of video back up on my uh, YouTube channel's videos so I'm going to transfer that and smash the hard drive and see what happens Okay, so it's transfer. Oh, okay. Now it's slowing down. I was worried if it's gonna be fast. It's not supposed to be fast. Okay, let's see. Now it's transferring. As you can see, the light is going on. So here we go. I don't know if you can hear the clicking. Let's see if I can tell my. But one thing is for sure transferring is not 
really moving anymore. But give it a little time to realize it cannot transfer anymore. Here, obviously, the light shows it's not transferring anymore. That's it. A drop breaks your hard drive. It does not take 9G the force. This proves it. So be very careful when you're using your laptop. Try not to drop them. Try not to shake them around. Or, no, don't think you can do it like movies. Take it out, put it, you know, take it out of your bag, using it on your laptop, you know. Like, moving around, thinking like everything will be fine because hard drives are very fragile. And look at this, it cannot transfer it anymore. So here we go. That will be the result of our little experiment tonight. Thanks for watching.